folks, Jeremy Hazel here from 7th Season Studios, and this lesson is all about how to use the new Liquify tool in Procreate 4.1. So we've included this design as part of this. This is a Procreate file, so if you wanted to follow along, we've included the downloadable Procreate file. And you're going to find the Liquify tool over here. You're going to come over here to the Adjustments panel, and then you're going to go to the Liquify tool. Now, this is brand new. Now, some of the demographics around the Liquify tool, let's go ahead and take a look at it. You've got the size of your brush. Now, watch this. I've got a large brush, and you'll see the size of the circle that's created on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the brush size, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn down the pressure that it applies. Now, the last sort of adjustment is the strength of the adjustment. Now, you see down here in the blue, I hit the adjustment knob. I have it up at 100% strength, so I'm at about 74% pressure, 23% on size. So there's the variables. And now you can do so much with this. Let's go ahead and explore the push. Now, this is key to note. If you bring up the layers, it works on individual layers. So if you have multiple layers in a design, like I have here, it's going to be very difficult. I'm going to do a destructive operation and I'm going to merge them all into one solid layer just to demonstrate what these tools do. All right, so I'm in my liquify. I've got my push tool selected. Now watch what happens. Let's say the skull is a little bit heavy there. I can push it in or I can pull it out. And then I can come over here, let's say, and push that side in just a little bit. That's what the push tool does. So what it's doing, folks, it's taking the pixels and it's actually pushing them. Now, let's say that I don't like that and I want to reconstruct it. Notice I just switched to the reconstruct option. And now I can bring it back with reconstruct. Now, you'll notice that it didn't pull it away. It actually reconstructed it back to original. So as opposed to the push tool where I can keep bringing it out like this, reconstruction allows you to bring it back to normal but will not allow it to exceed normal all right now another option here this is the twirl and this is in a counterclockwise direction now watch this this is kind of fun you can take it and now we're going to go clockwise on the other eye and i can change the tilt of these eyes now let's say that the nose is a little bit big on this thing and i want to make a subtle adjustment i can come over to the pinch tool now watch this. I can pinch that nose. Now if my selection tool is a little bit large, we turn down the size and I can pinch it quite a bit. And if I ever go too far, because it remembers, I can reconstruct. All right, now if that's pinch, guess what expand is going to do, folks? We're going to go ahead and move this down here. And now watch this. This is kind of fun to do you can then pinch the eyes and make them look almost alien-esque. Notice now we have kind of a primate skull going on. The eye sockets are a lot larger. So if you don't like any of it and you just want to kill it all, you can come ahead over here and reset it. Procreate Focus is extremely versatile because it allows you to remember where that pixel was in location and then if you don't like any of it, you can always come over and reset it. So again, three demographics, size, pressure, and adjustment strength. And then you've got the pinch, the twirl, the reconstruction, and the push. All right, folks, that's a little bit on the new tool. Glad we got it out there. Check out the Procreate update version 4.1. We have been asking for this tool for a long time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Give us a thumbs up. And if you got questions or things you want to see on Procreate, hit us up in the comments down below. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next one.